So just so you guys know, this was an order that was purchased during last week's live. Um, and the order was uh, supposed to come in. This was the, I don't know what occurred, but I received a message that this package, these packages have been um, delivered. And I was off from work because obviously we had the huge diamond paint-a-thon and I, I don't work usually the Friday before and the Monday after. I want to recoup from trying to stay awake as long as possible. I get to the job because I had these delivered at work and the packages never had uh, arrived. Um, so they said that there was an ex exception. And unfortunately, I end up having to call and spend a few hours trying to locate the packages. So I got a call this morning that they were out for delivery. They should arrive. The, um, the package um, USPS came and no package was delivered. I ended up having to actually call to see what was going on. Um, I said, hey, I'm getting um, notifications that these are being delivered. They're out for delivery. Then they're not coming. What's going on? So they were able to finally find the uh, packages and get them delivered. But obviously, you know, that's harrowing. You spend all your money on something that you really enjoy. And when it says delivered and it's not, my son has gone through that where he ordered a painting um, from Diamond Art Club, and the painting has not yet to this day arrived. It said delivered, um, went to our office at our, you know, the head of our main complex. When a package is too large, it'll, it'll go there, and it never was delivered. So either someone took it and, and kept it, um, or, you know, more shipping issues. Um, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna show off what we got in this haul, um, and we're gonna start off with this first painting and you guys know Justin uh oh go ahead pull it up oh I should have probably put it down <laughs> okay um so let's see what that is this is going to be all right if you guys can see that that is bailar conmigo uh, come dance with me that's a Mandy Manzano. Um, it is 42 by 59. It's a round. And I've had my eye on this one for quite a while. Um, but the time was right. It was the right discount, the right time. Um, yeah. So next up, uh, will I be opening these? Uh, probably, you know, at a later junction. But I just want to share what my purchase was. And everybody is enjoying Sweet Purple. She is around. She does have ABs. Uh, 42 by 49. And she is lovely. Look at those purple colors. Again, just a college age, you know, chick. Just kind of reminds me of my daughter's friends. She's, she's gorgeous. So there we have, there we go with that one. Next up. This is a big one. This is a 55 by 73, and she has been on the wish list for probably about a year. C Buddies, another Mandy Manzano. I believe it went away, it came back in stock. Uh, again, it was just the right time to purchase. I couldn't resist. And I um, also seen a video where someone had uh, just kitted up and were starting Sea Buddies. So that made it even more of a must have. When you can see it, you see how big it is and how beautiful the colors are. You gotta have it. You gotta get it. All righty. And here is Enchanted. This is huge. This is a 93 by 55. Let's turn this to the side. And what was a must have about this one? If you look in this picture, you can see the gorgeous, gorgeous girl sitting off uh, by the lake, 
playing a guitar if that doesn't remind me of my daughter I don't know what does just off somewhere looking at the scenery enjoying the the beauty around it look like she look at she's swimming in a swamp or something but you know it's about imagery it's about imagery you know we don't see our surroundings when we are lost at, in love and so she looks like she is deep in emotion you know and mandy she doesn't do a lot of faces but this one has a face on it definitely so i think i'll be enjoying this swamp scene there you go all right next up what we got next this is a painting that justin just brought home look at that isn't that gorgeous the kids got good taste <laughs> that is the gold uh oh i think my chip was on there that is called the gold of africa 42 by 48 this is around with ab's as well she is sold out so if you are interested in getting her she is no more justin probably got the last one because I was shocked when this showed up. <laughs> when you brought that in, I'm like, how you get that? That sold out. So how's everybody? How did you guys enjoy the Diamond Paint-a-thon this weekend? This one was very long. Uh, it started Friday morning and it went through midnight Sunday. Um, I did have a great time. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, we did have a lot of people who took advantage of the um vegemite challenge um on top of taking advantage of the vegemite challenge uh they were also doing the get up challenge um and i really enjoy being able to see a different personality and a different side to all of our youtube creators so kudos to all of you guys i really gotta say i enjoyed the vegemite challenge probably a little too much um, it was just so fun to see everyone's reactions and their facials as they try just something different, new and different. Um, I definitely enjoyed it though. Um, I don't think that I'll be doing any challenges anytime soon, but I, like I said, keep the videos coming. I did enjoy them. <laughs> uh, what about you, Justin? Would you ever do a video doing the get up challenge? You think about it? Okay, there you go. We have a volunteer, guys. Have to get Justin on the get up. Get him a sip, a cup to sip from. Make sure when you put your hand on your side, you know, it's real animated, okay? <laughs> All right. Off to the second box. Okay, let's see what came in this one. First and foremost, that is another Lady Creo. Lady Creo gets a lot of requests from me. I believe that is my fourth one. And yes, every time I do one, someone says, Can you do one for me? So, uh, Lady Creo in the house. <laughs> Back again. Back again. <laughs> and as you guys know, I told you my niece was getting the lips that I'm working on now. That is my lips. Look at that. Square with ABs. She is a 52 by 70, and she was an absolute joy to work on. I really enjoyed the color blocking. I enjoyed it immensely, coming from a Chuck Pinson with a ton of confetti. So, yes, I really enjoyed her. Yep. There we go. A moment on memory lane. I can't see that. You got to tilt it, baby. There we go. <laughs> that is a moment on memory lane. As you guys know, that is also a Chuck Pinson. Um, this is it is actually a 71 by 56. Ooh. And uh it's a round 
with ABs. And one of the things that I wanted to do is, um, it looked like online when they did the charting, it looked like the trees had a brighter orange. Um, obviously that's supposed to be because the sun is sparkling through and I was going to think about customizing and maybe trying to darken up some of the leaves on some of the trees. We'll see. We'll definitely see. That's the excitement and the beauty behind the craft, you know, maybe adding your own little flair. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how bright it is. But that is something that I wondered about is kind of darkening it up, making it look more, you know, like the end of fall coming into Thanksgiving um, instead of so bright, like a bright early fall day. Um, and we'll see. Yes, yes, yes. That was heavy? A little bit. And she is here. <laughs> Zulu Love. 47 by 84. Another Mandy Manzano. And yes, I definitely had to have her. She has been on the order. Um, she's been in the cart and on the order screen, I think, three or four times. I think after the second time, obviously, she went on sale and she went into a cart. And then there was some other must-haves. So I kind of said, well, I'll hold off. I'll, I'll get her just before she, you know, or when, when it goes to uh, low stock. Um, and then Christmas came. <laughs> and some other new releases came out. And Zulu Love got put to the back burner again. But I didn't want to do that anymore. I was making a grand purchase and I said, you know what? She deserves to be in the cart. She was the first one. This box that uh, we opened was my first uh, box that I purchased. And then the first box that Justin opened, that was my second order. So here we go. And I really enjoyed shopping and just finalizing the purchase. There were like a couple where I had to really, oh, uh, you know, do I want this one more? Do I want that one? Some got moved up in their rank. Some got moved back down. Um, but I will say I only have one diamond painting right now on my wish list that hasn't been purchased. And she was a new release this past weekend. So I do believe that my passions have caught up. All right. So now that we have gone through some of our anxiety and our fun, Clearly, the next thing we're going to do is get ready for our January giveaway. Um, and so for January, hi, Justin. How are you? I'm good. Do you know what we're giving away this month? Uh, well, we got some pens coming. We're going to actually, instead of giving away a pen... He's going to give away the gift certificate for them to buy their own. That's a great idea. It was pretty lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, yeah. very easy way to allow them to kind of pick something out. Um, we'll simply allow them to pick out. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'll get their email. I'll have, um, I'll have Sadie reach out to them. And we'll go from there. Kind of makes sense. Yep. Ooh, you yawning? That's catchy. Mm-hmm. It's contagious. It is. I don't. I don't want to yawn. <laughs> I don't want to yawn. Anyway, son of mine. Here we go. I was gonna move it back a little bit. It's like really up on you. <laughs> I didn't want it. That it happen. So. Just wanted to real quickly jump into our contest questions. Yes. How do we normally run our contests? Mm -hmm. For all the newbies. For our contest, we you know, normally just you know, answer some questions uh, that we have in our past videos. And, if, you know, you watch the videos and, you know, make sure you have the correct answers. 
Also, make sure you're subscribed. There should be a bell down one. <laughs> you just go down there and subscribe. <laughs> down <Notifications>. there. <laughs> make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> so your notifications are going to like the video. Yeah. And then at the end of our video, you will come back and report your answers. And we'll do a YouTube common picker during our live. And hopefully, you'll come up the winner. And it is for a Sadie's hand-turned diamond painting pen gift certificate. For you to go shop and purchase the acrylic pen of your own desire. And boy, you will love it. <laughs> so with that said, we're going to kick it off with our first question. Go right ahead, Justin. Uh, it says, which Hogwarts character are you? Or who? Well, am I, I should say. Which Hogwarts character? Let's, let's talk about what video you're going to um, be watching. We're going to take you back to, because we went early in the morning <laughs> and kicked it off Sunday morning with a horrible hangover um and so i would like for everyone to come back and just spend a little more time with me <laughs> so you can probably find all of your answers right there on my sunday morning 6 a.m pacific uh diamond painting or sparkle -thon video mm. okay which hogwarts sorting uh character would Justin be? Don't answer that, Justin. You look like you just want to tell them. Don't. That's why I stay quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's question number one. Our next question would be... Um, what is my mom's superhero name? And what if she had a boyfriend over her boyfriend superhero name be that's true so w what was my superhero name and more importantly what was my superhero boyfriend's name <laughs> hmm. our next question um, if you mom could live anywhere where would you go if I could live anywhere, where would I live? That is a great question. If I could live anywhere, <laughs> where would it be? All right. <laughs> For everybody whose dogs are now howling. <laughs> oh, <-hoo. laughs> and is there not? There's another question. Yeah. Okay. What question? One thing about me that no one knows. What is one thing about me that no one knows? What was one thing about me that no one knows? Or that, well, everybody knows now if you were there during the dp -thon. I've known for years. <laughs> um, but still answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> so those are our four questions. Um, definitely would like for you guys to go and grab them, come back and report them down here in the text. And again, make sure that you are subscribed. Hit the like button. Yay! And what we're going to do, like I said, um, we're going to do a YouTube common picker during our live, which airs Wednesday nights, 8 Pacific. I do apologize for our East Coasters. Um, I also apologize for all of our um, overseas uh, subscribers. Because I know it's really early in the morning by the time that we go live. But we do appreciate your replay support. Thank you very much. 
And with that said, we are out. Did I do that right? <laughs> Peace. <laughs>